We shall talk Balotelli as well before we leave you. Two defensive rocks in our studio, Mark Lawrence and Martin Keown, are joined by the former chairman of the Professional Footballers Association, Garth Crooks, who's been paying very close attention to one story in particular over the past few days. Malky Mackay started the week looking certain to become the next manager at Crystal Palace, but ended it apologising for a number of text messages that have tarnished his image. What was supposedly going to be a routine appointment for Crystal Palace when bringing in Malky Mackay, well, they've now ended all interest. Ian Moody has resigned as sporting director at Crystal Palace following allegations he shared racist, sexist and homophobic texts with former colleague Malky Mackay. In a statement issued via the League Managers Association, he's played down those messages as friendly text message banter. The League Managers Association now issuing an apology for their statement, which was inappropriate and has been perceived to trivialise matters of a racist, sexist or homophobic nature. 10,000 text messages uh, in and out of someone's phone. Um, I, I sent three looking at them. Um, they are completely unacceptable, um, inappropriate. Um, and for that, and any offence I've caused, I sincerely apologise. I did it in a, in a period where I think I was under immense pressure and stress in terms of the relationships that were possibly um, not going too well at my football club at the time. That doesn't actually um, excuse anything um, and was unacceptable. I'm a human being and I made a mistake and I am no racist and I am no sexist, I'm no homophobe and I'm no anti-Semitic. The people that know me know that. I've certainly never said personally the word uh, banter, so that's, that's not something that I feel that it was. The overall statement was very, very accurate. I agree that word is wrong and I think the LMA um, soon realised that and they've, they've tried to correct that. Have you ever taken a bung? Absolutely not, never in my life. There's an FBI investigation going on at the moment and um, I'm 100% confident that that investigation will show that I have absolutely no wrongdoing in terms of transfers uh, at the football club. Two days ago I was in the process of being on the verge of, of coming back into to, to football as a manager. I've been out for eight months. I was sacked eight months ago, so eight months later and um, I had the chance of a job a couple of days ago. Were you offered the Crystal Palace job? We were in talks. We were in, in protracted talks that um, were um, very close to, to happening. Do you think there is a vendetta against you by the chairman of Cardiff City, Vincent Tan? I wouldn't comment on that and I can't comment on that. Well, the words of Malcolm Mackay have been dominating the news for the past 24 hours or so. Are they words, Garth, that make him employable again in a dugout? Well, once the FA have decided that there is a case to answer and the evidence is pretty damning, it will go to an independent commission and I rather suspect that there will be a hefty fine and a ban. And the reason that the ban is important, that it gives everybody in the game to recognise there's a period for a rehabilitation. And that goes forth in line with your, your question. Can he come back? Kick it out are quite clear on this. There has to be room for redemption. Absolutely. This is about education. And we're keen for managers, players, coaches who fall from grace in this area to understand what is acceptable in a working environment. Now, clearly, Malky, if the evidence is proven, has clearly done that. What about the role of the League Managers Association, who come on a lot of criticism this week for apologising for their apology and particularly the use of the word banter? The Cardiff City have gone as far as to say the Chief Executive, Richard Bevan, should step down. I mean, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I have to say, the statements were pretty poor, to say the least. And I'm surprised because the LA are normally so good at this and their chief executive is excellent. I don't think personally that it's a resignation issue, but I do think that that's an issue for the League Managers Association. And a, a few managers are quite upset about the way in which they've handled this situation. What I would expect and what the kick it out have always wished is that any governing body, they are self-policing that they're looking at their members 
and of course they represent them, but you don't defend the indefensible. Mm. You come and you actually say, look, you've made a mistake here. We've got to try and put this right because mm. the game and the image of the game is most important. It did that, you know, that statement from the LMA, the original statement, just didn't seem... Richard Bevan like for one want of a better description because you know he's he's done a fantastic and they job rarely there. make mistakes you know? Rare, rarely make mistakes and they're always kind of thoughtful very very considered I mean the question I would ask did it actually come from Richard Bevan Martin. But he ultimately has to take. Well, obviously, he's the chief he, executive. He is. And no sure. public statement should come out of yeah, that the office stops with him. without him actually checking it and giving it the. It's, Did you it's think that approval. seemed like a Richard Bevan statement? No, I have to be honest, I didn't. Whether it was Richard Bevan or not, it was. It's the big story of the week and the season so far, and and they didn't get it well, right. Listen, who would have thought when Tony Pulis decided to walk away, or, or you know, um, two days before the season started, that this would go on and on and end up in, in this particular way? Martin, what does it say more generally? what we've seen this week about attitudes in football? Well, listen, I find it's highly disappointing that this people feel that they can talk in this manner, can send text messages and send these messages out. It's, I, I mean, maybe I'm a stranger to it, maybe I'm naive, but, you know, I think it's about education and whether this is, like, a, you know, a cultural thing, whether it comes from a generation of people feel free to talk in this way and there's, there's simply no play for it. He now needs to be educated on how to behave and conduct himself in the right manner. No, You're going to say to me, do you think he'll get another job, I guess? No, I think he will. <laughs> yeah, you're guessing my question. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> no, my, 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 my final question was, um, Mackay said no comment to that last one in the interview yeah. about whether there's a vendetta from Vincent Tan. One thing is certain, Vincent Tan is not a man to be crossed. Oh, abs absolutely not. Mm. And, um, she obviously got the, the, you know, in the nicest way, the, the, the memory of, a, of an elephant, certainly. So, no, it's, there's no doubt about that whatsoever. And, of course, now, Malky Mackay and, and also Ian Moody are going to suffer because of that. OK, well, you can continue to have your say on this topic. The ways to get in touch are behind us on the screen there. Uh, Garth, we shall see you a little bit later for final score on the second weekend of the Barclays Premier League. No doubting the big story from weekend.